Hi, my name is Cindy Rang. I'm Brandon Motzkis, and today is our Wednesday box opening. Hello, hi. All right, so if you are new to our channel, we are a mother-daughter duo. We have a quilt shop in Central Washington State, and um, let's see, we have a 5,000 square foot quilt shop with about 10,000 bolts. Mm -hmm. We have a retreat center. We have our own pattern line. We do videos. What else do we do? Yeah. Uh, we do quilting cruises. For one stop know. shop. We are. <laughs> we talk a and, lot. And uh, we talk an awful lot. And so what we do is um, we have, gosh, we have I think over 800 videos on YouTube. A lot of different tutorials, different things that we're doing. Uh, but we also, twice a week, we do this box opening. Mm -hmm. And so on Wednesday nights at 5 or Sunday afternoons at 1230, uh, twice a week we open boxes of whatever has been delivered in the store. Sometimes mm -hmm. we kind of have an idea looking on the outside what it is. And oftentimes it's just as new to us. Because if you don't know how it works in a quilt shop, we pick out fabric and then it arrives typically six months later. Yeah. The only difference from that is like notions. Notions, um, we tend to get fairly quickly and we kind of remember what we ordered with notions, but yeah. everything else is brand new. You can find everything at fabricpatch.net. We do have a flat $9 shipping free for um, uh, US orders and uh, with that $9 fee, we actually, we have a very fast turnaround. Tracy is our shipping manager and she gets everything out typically within 24 hours. I mean, yeah. the only difference for that is that if you're doing like a Friday afternoon order, we aren't gonna, she's already got her orders for Friday morning and so we won't print that off until it'll go out Monday. Mm -hmm. But everything else that goes out next day um, and typically priority mail unless it's in a great big box. Yeah. If it's international orders, uh, she weighs it and then she finds the cheapest way to get it to you and then she sends you an invoice for that and you can say, yeah, no, or that sounds fair. Yeah. Whatever works for you. So, mm -hmm. um, and then uh, we have lots of updates for you. We'll kinda, we're opening a box and scaring dogs. But um, if you don't know about that, we have a, a, a golden retriever here. That's our shop dog. How old is she? Six years old? Boxes. She's afraid of boxes. She's not afraid of anything she else. She didn't even grow up with kids who tortured her. No, she didn't. We've had her since she was a puppy. We know where she was before that. She's not afraid of drills, no. of babies, of babies, <laughs> of vacuum cleaners, of just a box, boxes. Yep. And paper. If you crinkle up the paper. Yeah. It is the weirdest thing. Weird to so she took off running. She knows it's a box. Um, those of you that might be local or planning maybe a summer trip over, we have changed our hours um, just, yeah, a, yeah. just a little bit. Um, so Wednesday, Fridays, and Saturdays, we are open for in-store shopping from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. And then on Thursdays, we are open late. So we are here from 10 to 6. There's a lot of you guys that we know still work. Um, so it's sometimes hard. We even on a Saturday, if we're open until five, it's still sometimes hard to get away from mm -hmm. a sporting event or other things that are coming up in your life. Mm -hmm. I'm too able to get to the quilt shop. So sometimes if you um, can leave work right after work and come hang out, you can get your shopping done or maybe leave a little bit early and hang a little bit longer here. But so that's a little, hopefully a little helpful for some of you local ones. And we're going to tell you, because a lot of you guys are going to ask why. And here's the reason why we get here early. We get here early because we get all of the online orders done before the store opens. Mm -hmm. So we're here three to four hours before the store opens so that we can get everything pulled and sent so that, you know, if you bought this, someone, we can pull it before somebody comes in off the street and says they want this. Yeah. And so, um, so anyway, that's why uh, we're pretty tired by four o'clock. And the mm -hmm. other thing that happens is that no one comes in after four. We're in a small community. So Where's those like, quilters we have have young dinner. kids um, that are picking up from school and then they're headed home. After three o'clock, yeah. um, kids are picked up and they're headed home. So we might yeah. see moms and little sisters or whatever between two and three on their way to go pick up school bound kids. So yeah, we're just not, not busy. Community. So we didn't think it was going to matter that much. We've kind of been keeping track of it for the yeah. past month and it's like, oh yeah, and no Nobody after four and nobody after four and nobody after four. Yeah. Um, if you make it in and you're not done, we're not going to boot you out, but um, yeah. we're going to probably try to. And then having a, a, a late one. time on Thursday, I think is, will help everybody yeah. help the worker. Those of you guys that are still working and also help somebody where four o'clock really doesn't work for you. We have retreaters. So all of those things. So hopefully we try to do best for everybody there. Um, this cute. looks like it's all soft books. Oh. 
Oh. That was like a little monster. Are they new ones or repeat ones? No, they'll take new ones. I don't think I have a monster How one. How little lovable. Um, we'll open these and show you. Then we'll talk about it. We'll show you an oh, a, a monster. monster. A monster. I don't think I had a monster. Uh, we'll show you some. Pigs oh. fishing. They found my glasses. These are cute. So I'm going to get all these panels unwrapped. I'm going to cut one off. Um, and then I will show you up close. Well, I'll also grab, we have a book that we've completed that we can show you. If you've never seen a soft book before and don't understand how it works, we'll show you how. Okay. All right, we got them all cut. Uh, and by we, I mean Brianna, so I haven't even seen what they were yet. But. <laughs> but it's kind of fun. So we have to mention too that when you look at these books, it doesn't always read properly because of the way that you put it together. And so what like, happens... Yeah, because yeah, like on this page. one, you've got page, what would it be, one, two, three, four, five. So you've got page six and page seven. But otherwise, you've got, you know, this page, the opposite one is this one, right? So it might not read right. It might not read right. As a panel, but yeah. it will read right as a soft book. Yes, because what you're doing is you're just essentially making three small little quilts. Mm -hmm. So you're just going to sew, put a little, we do put just a tiny little bit of batting in there, kind of whatever we have left over. Mm -hmm. um, you could put a piece of flannel in there if you want, if you want it to be thinner. You can use crinkle fabric if you want something to be kind of cool. You can do all kinds of stuff with it, but... Um, but what's really nice about it is that it's totally washable. So you're just going to put right sides together, sew all the way around, and then, um, oh, you can answer it. And then we're going to, and then you turn it right side out, and then just to give it a nice finished look, just do a little top stitching all the way around that little quilt, and then you mm -hmm. make the next one, and then you make the third one, stack them all together, and then just sew right down the center. And then what's really cool about the huggable, lovable ones is they always have some little, you know, this one has the tail, and then sometimes they have little feet that's, that hang down, or they have horns that are up, or whatever. So you just do a little stuffy, and then you just... Um, and it's also optional, but I'm like, oh, I don't have time for that. I, that you don't have to. But it's yeah, super cute. Everyone knows it's a skunk. Yeah. With or without a tail. Yeah. And the other thing is that those directions that I just went through super quick, um, they tell you on the, they tell you right down here all of the directions on how to do it. So, so like this one, the 3D little bit is the hedgehog fuzziness. So I'm standing on something here. Oh, a hedgehog one. Yeah. Hedgehogs and kisses. Aw, hedgehogs. It's adorable. Oh, I see. So here's, oh, that's cute. Yeah. So then there's what the finished book would look like on the back yeah. and the front. So that's cute. adorable. I want to see the monster one. Right? And also, we have a little pattern. Super simple. You can figure it out yourself. You probably don't even need the pattern, but it's just called panel play. And what it is, is it's um, the blocks for the book with four patches in the center. Mm -hmm. So if you would rather have a quilt than a soft book, yeah certainly do that. Mm. Ooh, oh, this cute. one's cute. A county one. My first shapes. Oh, it's a my little first, one. And there are three different books, it looks like. My first shapes, my first animals, oh. my first farm. And then little stuffies? Uh, maybe. Or maybe that's little, definitely a stuffy. That's stuffing. definitely a stuffy. Cute. Or they're oh, it's shapes, a bag. They're, not, they're bags. To it's match. a bag. This is the front. Can you guys mm -hmm. see that? This is the front and the back of the bag, and this is the handle. Mm-hmm. Oh, and then you can put them all and in the bag. And there is instructions. Yeah, there is you. instructions down there. That's adorable. That's way better than cutting those things out and making so stuff. Yeah. Cute. I love that. And the soft books are super, super popular. In fact, you don't know that it took a long time between us opening and coming back on, but it's because we were searching for this. Uh, the kids had it. The they room. took it. So um, it's really, really nice. It's fun for them, for ki babies to like mm -hmm. books and then throw it in the washer, throw it in the dryer. Yeah, it's awesome. They wash Even perfectly. the big kids still hang yeah. on to them and read them to Maisie yeah. and make their own stories. But yeah, yeah, that's the thing I love about it is whether it's in the car and it's got something spilled on it or got stepped on, just wash like everything else mm -hmm. and dry it and they can love on it some more it's also something that if it gets taken into the bathtub or outside and it you know gets into the pool again one of those things the book's not ruined we just now have to wash it and yeah. move on another little one another little one i love the little ones wow. my first book of animal, animal rhymes mm -hmm. my first book of sing along rhymes and my first book of classic rhymes. Oh, Mary had a little Cute. lamb. Itsy bitsy spider. Uh, row, row, your row, row your boat. Oh, and it is still three pages. And Cute, so it's though. the same thick, 
thickness, like the yeah. same number of pages, is just little. It's just little. little. For little hands. Little hands. And yep. then another bag. And a little and pink a pig. That's pretty adorable. I like the little ones. I like the little ones. I didn't remember that that was a new thing. I didn't either. Six months ago <laughs> that they showed us. Six months ago, I'm sure I thought it was a great idea. This Aww. bunny, baby love. Oh. What You're did the mommy bunny say to the baby bunny? You're some bunny special. Oh, cute. And see, you can see where it says, why, yeah. what did the elephant say to the baby? It baby says, dog. Elephant, I love you a mm -hmm. ton. Because, of course, the pages will read differently. Right. What but, did the mommy dog say to her baby dog? I rough you. I rough you. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> That's very good. This must be the monster. Oh, oh the monster. I, I really am excited about the monster one. Oh my okay. god. Oh, say so, please, so see, little monster. Look, it's horns. horns. Yeah. Oh, that's cute. And this is a big size, so just like the size mm -hmm. of um, the skunk here. Say please, so little monster. Cute. There are three magic words every little monster should know. Oh, uh, please, thanks, and sorry. Oh. Cute. One of my favorite books of all time, which I just read again this last weekend when the kids were over, is There's a Monster at the End of This Book. Oh my gosh, Wyatt loves that book. It's such a good book. By Grover, tells the story. Yes. Oh no, don't turn the page! <laughs> <laughs> you turned it. There you go, I got catch him! Yeah. Wyatt loves it's it. It's so cute. Yeah. yeah. It's bath time, little one. Cute. We can make That's believe adorable. you're a big blue fish. And this one is not a... It doesn't have no 3D attachments or basic anything. Basic book. Just a basic book. Super cute. Adorable. Adorable. Love Soft it. books. Always popular. And here's the funny thing. We order these whenever they we come see out them. with humans. We order them every single time. There was probably about a two-year period of time, a few years back, when they they nobody was making them. Yeah. And people would come in. Do you have any soft books? No, we don't. No, we don't. No, we don't. Because mm -hmm. they would usually just make one bolt that would go with some line or whatever. Clothworks mm -hmm. was pretty good. Now they it. have the whole huggable, huggable lovable, lovable, lovable series, and we order is... them all the time. And if you go to that section, mm -hmm. so these will all. Is there a huggable lovable section? Uh, there is a yeah. There is a soft book section. So you will see these new six titles first, and then you'll see everything else available. Yeah. There's um, some a, of these. Nice. There's a teacup. Yeah, there's, there's cute ones. Um, there used to be a monkey. Maybe there's not. There's no longer the skunk the skunk is gone sorry but there's quite a there's quite a, there's a bunch uh yeah there is yeah. and some of these will sell out because there's not that many it's a large panel on a basic bolt so um Maybe eight to ten of each yeah. one but yeah there's yeah. lots to choose from so i'll link the soft book category in the description below i'll move it to the what's new section of our website where you can just search soft book and and you know soft books it's one of those things that you can't really find I mean, no. You don't find those out when you're shopping for baby gifts. Mm -hmm. And so you can't even find those actual like tub books, you mean? Right. When I why it was a baby, yeah. I could find those little plastic ones. You want to read ones. while you're in the tub. These right, are why good not? things to start. <laughs> and I can <laughs> learn that young. And I can't <laughs> find those right now. So yeah. I don't know. Yeah. It's just not a So it's good, you know, what we do. I don't know. I assume a lot of you guys do the same thing. You just always want to have that baby shower gift on hand so yeah. you don't find out on monday that the shower has been moved up because now mm -hmm. the shower is friday night and it's like oh my gosh and so it's always good soft books are classic very yeah. very good probably nobody else coming to the shower is going to have one mm -hmm. you might be able to make like a little matching quilt at the same time it can just yeah. be under the same sorts of colors or whatever and it could be very unisex Absolutely. you know that you just a book. it doesn't matter it's just a book yeah. Also a very good gift for a one-year-old birthday party. Um, yes. Because it's mm -hmm. so hard to shop for the mm -hmm. one-year-old because one, the baby has everything. Grandmas are going to buy everything the baby needs. Yeah. And you don't want to duplicate. Oh, what if somebody already got a walker or whatever? Nobody made them a soft book. Right. And right. if they did make the soft book, because there's more than one quilt in your family, what's the likelihood you guys picked the same one? Right. So a soft book, books, because that's what we did for um, Harper's first birthday, is mm -hmm. um, we told people not to do cards, because Harper can't read, but we wanted to do a library. Books. Whether mm -hmm. it was a... Um, loved a book that they just wanted to pass on because their kids were too big for it and it was a used book to us um, or a brand new book. We didn't care. Mm -hmm. And they could sign it and so it was really fun. We have quite mm -hmm. a book collection because of that. And yes. People did. Some of them had used books because it was yeah. their kids' favorite um, and others bought a new one because they weren't going to, you know, mm -hmm. get rid of their favorite one. But mm -hmm. good things. Yeah. Good things. 
Really good. All right, so good. Five new ones. So yes. that's really good. And while she's grabbing that other, but there's a little one there. This yeah. Um. Uh. I'm going to mention something that we try to mention each time is to always go in and check clearance. Our clearance oh, section. Yes. Our clearance section. I mean, there's stuff in there that is maybe used to be $14.99. That's down to $8.99 or $7.99. So go check. There's nothing back there that is old. All of that stuff is stuff that is just everything else is gone. And there's only two pieces left. In the collection mm -hmm. or whatever so if there's something that you've been working on go kind of check that out the only unfortunate thing is not in any particular order you kind of have to scour through yeah. it a little bit there's one dollar patterns there's all kinds of stuff mm -hmm. so anyway be sure and, be sure and check out the clarence stuff notions. notions we okay so funny story about um Hugo's amazing tape our uh fabric rep the one that does the e. E. shank stuff for us um uh, Patty said that uh, no one orders <laughs> more Hugo tape than we do. That uh, and even at the warehouse, her people said, finally asked, "What are they people? doing with that?" <laughs> And it's because it is awesome stuff. So it comes in three different sizes. Yes. It comes in two inch. Does it come in four? No, no, two, two three, one three sizes. and half. Two, one and half. This one's packaged different. New packaging. Yeah. So two inch wide, or one inch wide, or half inch wide. And what Hugo tape is, if this is the first you're hearing of it, it is this plasticky tape that only sticks to itself. Mm -hmm. So what I use it for is if I am wrapping up, like if I have a little quilt kit and I don't have a zipper pouch left over, I can just go ahead and take about a 12 inch section of it, wrap up my stuff together, stick it together. So all of those things stay together. It mm -hmm. works really well that way, but I really use it. I really, really like it for my thread. So if I have like the Eleganza thread or whatever, I'll just snip off just a little, maybe three inches wrap it around and again mm -hmm. it gets nice and tight and sticks only to itself and it's not adhesive so it doesn't stick to the thread or stick to anything else so there's no mm -hmm. residue so it's really nice you can also put it just to fyi you can cut off a section and if you have an old ruler if you're not yet replaced all of your rulers with the quilter select or the non-stick rulers you can put a piece on there and mm -hmm. it will stick again it's not adhesive it's just that sticky grippy it will stick to your ruler and then your ruler will not slide as yeah. much. It works really, really well for that. So you can use it for it that. It works well if you have one of those specialty rulers that aren't grippy. Right, you right, know, right. Maybe the, um, I know the Flying Geese ruler mm -hmm. doesn't. Um, Cat's Cradle ruler, mm -hmm. any of those, yeah. You need a little uh, extra grip because you're actually using it and it works really good. The other right. thing that works is the jelly rolls. If you don't use a full jelly roll, right. instead of dismantling and just put it in your two and a half inch strip drawer, you can roll it back up and then same way mom does with her quilt kits, roll it up with a little right. bit of this. Right. And most importantly, um, uh, Pa steals this <laughs> Father's Day all is the coming. time. All the time. <laughs> there is a product that is similar to it that you can find at um, Harbor Freight. Harbor Freight. Not that same. is terrible. <laughs> it is not good stuff at all. And Deb was so excited. He, but look what, look, I look what I found. And it's like, and then he came in not too long after. He's like, that it. is <laughs> terrible stuff. It's like that's right. We have only the good stuff. And even to make it worse, is our stuff was cheaper than the Harbor oh. Freight stuff. So because everyone's wrong, I found like a rotary cutter at. Um, Harbor Freight once and it was fairly inexpensive and I thought this can't really be real because I don't know because you know Paul likes my rotary yeah 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 it's it's not good it they're not they're not they're the not thing. intended for fine sharp delicate cutting so uh, there's a few more things in that box magic pins we run out of these all the time all the time i think there's a couple different sizes there's quilting pins and applique pins and something else mm -hmm. and what's really nice about them is that they have this little grip and so you can kind of see where they're at get a handle on them and also they are um, heat resistant so yeah. you can iron over them and they're really really nice i like them um a sticky fabrisolvi so it is a stabilizer that is sticky on one side and like paper like on the other side and it completely washes out so a lot of it in the store, it's machine embroidery. It's how we came about it is one of my favorite machine embroidery stabilizers to use. But it's also perfect for those of you who want to piece minky. Whether it is to piece a back so it's bigger, strip some minky together to make a really fast quilt. Um, all you do is you just cut off like a half inch 
issue with pair of scissors yeah. or rotary cutter, it doesn't matter, it doesn't have to be perfect. You peel off the paper side where it is going to be super sticky and you stick it to the wrong side of the stretchy side of your minky so it'll stabilize the stretch. So when you sew it, your machine won't just be sewing for days mm -hmm. and you can sew however you want to and it just eliminates the stretch. Yeah. One less thing to have to worry about and then you just keep sewing and then you won't notice it's even on there. Your stitches don't even have to go through this piece. Just enough for it to stabilize. And then when the first time you decide to wash that quilt, whether it's already been given and loved and then now it's time to be washed, it will wash out and it won't gum up your washing machine, leave any kind of residue behind. It just will disappear. Mm -hmm. So it's really nice. It, it's the key to yeah, sewing it's anything the with Minky. Yeah. Um, really don't inexpensive. hit it with an iron. If it you oh. peel and stick, peel and stick, peel and stick, um, and it's not sticking, use a little bit of Quilter's glue stick glue. Yeah. And do it. If you hit it with an iron, it will shrivel up. And it might get stuck on your iron, and then, then you'll, you'll need iron, iron clean. clean. <laughs> just yeah. Give a mouse cookie. That's right. So don't iron, just peel and stick. Yeah. If it's not sticking it's like you stuff. think it should stick, and really the first time you stick it, she's down. If you're peeling and repositioning and peeling and repositioning, you might not get it down. And you might need a little bit of glue, but again, your stitch doesn't have to go through this to make it work. It just has to be on the edge. A little book light. Uh, book light or uh, uh, stitching light. So stitching, it depends yeah. on what you... Uh, I don't I, I don't know that I use a book light. And Do you use a book light when you read at night? Um... No, sometimes headlamp. headlamp. <laughs> You're stitching last uh -huh. night. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, I yeah. would do a book um, light if I could find one that I liked. Mm -hmm. um, but my biggest thing is if I'm reading at night, I can usually put my lamp on next to me because Robert usually watching TV. Right. Me too. Um, and so I can usually use that. If by chance he doesn't feel good and he's in bed and he's down and I have all the lights off and everything, I would like a book light, but I'm a lot of paperback book girl. Yeah. And I don't want to tear my books up. I yeah. mean, I get the little wear and tear because you read it or you read it multiple times, but when you actually like rip a page or whatever, it's like devastating. Yeah, I agree. So that's my problem is I would love a book light, but they're all heavy. So I usually just go and read somewhere else. Yeah. This one is actually a really nice one. What's funny about this is I think it is a book light, but I clip it to my, um, I don't find that I necessarily need light when I'm reading, but I have to have a lot of light when I'm doing hand stitching. Sure. I mean, a lot of light. And so I not only have my, you know, um, uh, standing alt light over me, but I have also directed light, um, when I'm hand stitching. And yeah. so this one will clip to your, um, uh, hoop. Sure. So, uh, so I do like this one, although I think it is supposed to be a, um, and it's LED and it has, um, different settings, it has daylight set, day, um, bright and warm or yeah. whatever it has the three Depending settings on, on it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But, um, uh, but yeah, I, I agree. I think with books, um, mm -hmm. um, I keep thinking that I might, um, look into a Kindle. I never thought I would like a Kindle because I, I like I, books. I have an old school Kindle. Old school one. That I even was able to buy a skin for it back in, I don't know, I should bring it. Hmm. She's hot pink and about this big. Do you use it? Um, I have it because I have the Kindle app on my phone. Oh. So pre-phone for me, Kindle's mm -hmm. that. Awesome. And what would happen is if for any reason I decide to not use my phone anymore, um, anything that's on my phone in the Kindle app will automatically be on my Kindle. Oh. I really like it. But you can put the Kindle app on like your iPad. Well, that's kind of what I thought. So I, I don't know that I necessarily need one, but what was funny was um, uh, Nancy Wanky has a little Kindle. <laughs> and so I noticed, I don't know if it was on the plane when I saw her sitting with it, but it is itty itty bitty. I mean, it is yeah, they're it's little. smaller than this. So she's holding it and she's not holding this big heavy book and it's all backlit. Mm -hmm. So I think you don't need lighting. I should bring it back. Oh, and then when she was turning the page, she just went flick, mm -hmm. flick. I thought, oh, that's kind of nice. So for a little bit there, I thought I might want one, and then I looked online, and they were like, I don't know, like 150 bucks. I thought I don't think I yeah. want one that. Much. It's it's essentially a tablet that does nothing but read to, reads, but it's little. It's just little. Yeah, your iPad is far bigger. My iPad's a little big. For I'll me. bring one to show you. And I don't know. I I mean, I like books, and <laughs> she wants the new best thing. I don't yeah. Know. So anyway, um, I like it. But I like. Mm -hmm. My uh, project Aren't for. All right. Yeah. My project for Robert, probably by the end of the year, I'll have as I'm redoing a little corner in our bedroom, Aww, and I'm gonna do. Nook. Yeah, I am. Because um, yeah, because he wants to watch TV. And he wants you to sit right there. 
Yeah, and I don't want to. So if I'm across from him, I more furniture has this fantastic couch chaise thing um, that I really, really want. Um, mostly because Robert hates the idea of it, but I also have an eight foot round couch. I was going to say, what about your round couch? <laughs> I don't want brown. <laughs> I still have my round couch. I love my round couch. See, um, like a but three person chair is what fantastic. that thing is. And me it's and Maisie, or me and Wyatt, and even Harper, we had a lot of baby nights out there. Mm -hmm. It was just, I could just lounge just the right way and it was fantastic. But to do that, also if I needed to do computer work, I could be there in something comfortable with enough light and my tip tapping isn't driving him crazy. Yeah. So I have uh, in our house, our house is teeny, teeny, tiny, but when Pa is watching TV and sick or whatever, and I need to be in there uh -huh. with him um, at the opposite end. And by opposite end, it's like, three feet away <laughs> is, um, I have these uh, you couldn't even say throwing distance. She's so close. <laughs> no, no. I can see the TV here, the TV, everything is perfect. And some of the times that we've videoed, um, uh, uh, at my house, we've been in these two chairs, but I have these yeah. two little leather chairs in front of my bookcases, and I like to sit there. It's right outside my sewing room, and that's mm -hmm. where my alt light is. And they're comfortable chairs, so they I can are sit comfy. and read there. I have my other little side light there, and I'm near the television where we can watch TV yeah, together. It's so funny. Yeah. I don't know what it is about that that they want us to watch TV with they them. They don't want to sit there. Yeah. But what's funny is that when Paul watches TV with me, he will not shut up. <laughs> I, I mean, I things. never ask because if we're watching something that I don't understand and there's lots of shooting and cars, sorry, there you go. shooting and cars and I don't know what all is happening, I just kind of watch and think, I'm going to figure it out here pretty soon. It doesn't matter. But if he's watching some show that's kind of some sort of a suspenseful or he's, romancing, he is just will not shut up. Wait, now who is she? Wait, now wait a minute. What did he just say to her? It's like, I don't know if you watch. So we're constantly, it's fortunate <laughs> yeah. enough that we can go back. I talk to oh, movies. You too. talk to uh -huh. the movies? Oh, it drives Robert crazy. crazy. He's like, if you weren't asking that question, I could have figured out what they said. Now I'm, I'm pretty sure it. it didn't matter what they said. Nobody laughed. No one is in shock. It's yeah. fine. It's just, it's just a chat. Yeah. I hate it. Yeah. I don't like it. But he also doesn't like to watch some movies with me because I guess, I, you know, 20 minutes in, oh, I got it. It's him. Oh. About, see you later. Let yeah, me know yeah, when we're yeah. in the last 30 yeah, minutes yeah, yeah. and look I, and see if I'm right or wrong. Um, like 99% totally right. I know. I do that too. But you know what's funny is that, can you do that with books? You don't read a lot of suspense books though, do you? Um, I just finished a book. Uh, it was called um, Everyone Here is Lying. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I guessed it. Oh, you did? Uh-huh. Well, yeah. I shouldn't say. I guessed who, who had the girl. Okay, yeah, yeah. I guessed that. I yeah. didn't guess yeah. the end. Yeah. But, yeah. Because that's what they're doing now. If you read suspense, there's a little twist and you go, ah, and then they twist again. And then at the very last minute, they twist, twist again. again. Yeah. So it's not like real where, oh, yeah, there's a twist. No, no, no. no. The days of a twist are long gone. We are roller coasting yeah. it. It's, it's a <laughs> great big thing. Yeah, it is. So I can guess maybe parts, but then... Yeah. So yeah, I guessed who stole the girl, but I didn't guess yeah. the ending. Yeah. Good twist. Yeah. But yeah. Oh, oh this is kind of cool. What is this? It's called uh, Verdigris? Verdigris? Verdigris. Tracy, how do we say it? Oh, it's like green and gray. Verdigris? Verdigris? Verdigris. 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 Patina. Patina. Green patina. Green patina. It's by Libs Elliot. I love her. Libs Elliot. This is not as bright as I'm used to with her. Ooh. What a good, like, dude quilt colors. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's just falling out. Look at that cool I something off the Verdigris. I tried to watch that. Greg's. Greg's? What was that book? Oh, Gregs game or oh, Gerald's, Gerald's games. games. Oh, that's right. That's so we talked at Fabric Chat last week. We had this whole big discussion about book talk, which we're not done with that. Um, but <laughs> we talked about C Stephen King books. So Gerald's game. You tried to watch it I, and you I couldn't. Mean about maybe twenty. 15, oh, red. No, I was going to no, watch No, 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 you were going to watch the movie. And it's probably, what, an hour and a half movie? Mm -mm, no. Oh, because it was creepy? I thought it was creepy and the acting was bad. <laughs> oh, and the acting but, was but bad. Anything Stephen King. Was in it and I See, it is a very... The dog is going to eat the body. It is very right. possible. started eating it, so oh. I was like, no, I can't watch it. And it is very possible I did not finish the movie, because I, if you guys know, I'm a wuss. 
I don't do scary. No. Um, I made it 15 minutes into reading a Stephen King before I was out. Yeah, I think so. Um, so I could, cause I remembered that little tidbit you shared on mm -hmm. our little book talk. That's the only thing I remembered. Yeah. yeah. Which could have been the only thing I watched because then I was traumatized. Right. <laughs> and I was out. You have to decide. Is it entertainment? And if I yeah. read for entertainment and I watch movies for entertainment. Yeah. And so too. that means I do not want to be disgusted. Yeah. I do not want to be scared. I don't mm -hmm. want to have lasting trauma. <laughs> I don't want to cry. Yeah. I do not want to cry. I, I Happy tears are okay. But... Yeah. But I don't even like what leads up to the happy tears. I don't oh, want. I don't want any discomfort. <laughs> it is entertainment, and so I want and it to be good. And the discomfort that happy. has led to why Robert is asked, "Why are you crying?" Don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't understand. No. No. Yeah. So yeah. So anyway. All right. Okay. Well, okay. so we're going to uh, take is there box another box. I've got, I've got another. I've got box A. Okay. Over there. We're gonna so, take off plastic, and then we'll see what we got going on. Yeah. This is awesome. Liv's Elliot, I think, is super cool. It's really, really nice. It's very modern. Yeah. I love the colors. Mm -hmm. It's really, really nice. I think it's really cool for a guy quilt, mm -hmm. a couch quilt. I think it's kind of your basic, whether it's creams and green, green, uh, black and gray, you really can create any kind of an aesthetic out of here. And even some of the kids that are coming in with grandparents to make, you know, graduation quilts, mm -hmm. um, they're going for kind of cool, but three colors. Three colors. Or what, oh Saturday, Mom Saturday. had one. Oh, I was here Brown. late. Yeah. Yeah. Grandma was going to make a graduation quilt. Mm -hmm. And so her grandson, and, and I think either her daughter or her daughter-in-law, so three generations in here, looking for a quilt. So he wanted brown. 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 So he had, I don't know, maybe eight brown. <laughs> so I said, okay, let's pause for a moment and let's think about what pattern you're going to pick. So then we had him talked into a log cabin, which meant he was going to do brown and maybe tan yeah. or oh. something. And oh, it's not brown. So anyway, it was. So yeah. So some of these, hard. I think those that are saying, oh, I like Black and gray. That's all I like. I don't want any other color in it. I feel like this fits the black and gray. I don't want anything else in it. Right. Or black and a color. Or So it's really cool. With I enough think. variation. Because that's the thing. If you you're picking brown, good luck. But black and gray and white, yeah, you can add enough. But it's things. still going to be interesting. Yeah. yeah. So I this really like really, it. Really cool. I think she did a really good job. I do too. And what is the name of it? Oh, um, ver ver Verdigree. Verdigree. Say it again. Ver How do you say it, Tracy? That's good. Ver degree? Ver degree. Ver degree. Ver degree. Ver degree. And you'll see there are two pieces in here. These are just some of the um, uh, Andover solids that we ordered at the same time, obviously, to be able to go with it. It's the same gray and the same parchment color. So it's beautiful because there's this green, gorgeous green color. And then this orange. This is a uh, Afraid of Tigers piece right there. Right? See, I love this. I know. This, oh, wait, or the, um, this one? Uh, the graffiti. graffiti. I love. Yeah. Oh, yeah the I know. This is dot. awesome. All right, so we're going to look at this. And the other thing we decided, so there are 24 pieces, not including these two solids that we got. We are going to do some half yard cuts and some fat quarters for you. Um, and also what will happen is if you've got, you know, some solid black or some other things, there's a lot of stuff that would go with it. And we're just going to mention before we go too much farther, in case you kind of feel like you really want um, some sort of a, a floral to go with it. We do have a line that is all of this, um, the same colors, but it's got flowers yeah. in it. It's definitely it more of a feminine really would take. go together. And it's that rustic gatherings mm -hmm. by Moda. So if you wanted to add a flower to it, you, you could certainly do that. So, okay. So this cream color, what was this one called? That was oyster. Oyster. So that's the one that went with it. This piece, oh my gosh. That's fantastic. And this is in multiple colors, but I'll hold up a couple so you can see it. There's this nice little scribble. Love that. So cool. Really cool polka dot. Here is that dots again. And then this is just a flower. It's just a silhouette of a flower. Love that. This I is love that piece in every single color. Yeah, look at all of the little 
blocks that are in there. There's um, quarter square triangles, curved piecing, some half square triangles. Pretty awesome. Love that. Here's, and what was this solid called, Brian? Earth. Earth. And it's a gray brown. I wouldn't, it's not brown at all, but it's those same colors we come yeah. across. Same gray. We'll You'll see it, it in again. a minute. Yeah. And then the Swallows has kind of a tulip pink feel to it. And your white that you see, it's, very, it's parchment. It is parchment, yeah. Mm -hmm. This is the same color that's in everything. I love this one. Mm -hmm. Super cool. Wait till you see this in the uh, parchment color. And if, I don't know if you can tell, but there's parchment and gray mm -hmm. there. And then, oh, the first of the graffitis. Man, this deserves to be fully opened. Love that. I really, really like that. Very modern and young. It's time to start thinking about all of those graduation quilts we need to make. There's another polka dot. More swallows. More of that silhouette in the orange. More graffiti. Oh, super cool. More of the circles, the scribbles. And then that too is in multiple colors. That's really awesome. And then here is those lines, and you can see the three colors. And it's coming through more purple. Really? Gray. Oh, it's totally gray. Uh, it's totally gray, and it, the earth solid matches perfectly to that background. Yeah, it's absolutely it's gray. definitely gray. It's coming through funny on my side, but maybe it's not on the hmm. gray design, but it's gray. And then here is more of those little pieces. I love that. I do too. And of course, it's that same burnt orange. Mm -hmm. And there's kind of a little taupe in there. More scribbles, orange, the green, and that dark, Can we dark gray. Open that one up a little bit. Yeah, because it looks like it's almost striped. Oh, maybe it is. Well, I think like the other ones are. Yeah, it's cool though. I like so, it. So let's see, because this one is two, right? Yeah. Yeah, cool though. I know. I mean, I like it regardless. Uh, I know it. It's awesome. Super cool. And then this one. Oh my gosh, look at that one. Parchment, green, and... That would be good accent pieces also to go with your Charlie Harper stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, that does look mm -hmm. Charlie Harper-y. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Love it. Silhouette. Graffiti. These swallows. Can I come over here? Are you? Yep. Can you see there? And look at this one. This is Tracy's favorite. That is a really cool piece. I feel like this piece would go with just about Money. anything. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of that really cool green. It's like a bluey green, gray mm -hmm. green. And then dots. Really cool dots. Okay. So, and then we will do um, fat quarters and half yard cuts. Otherwise, Andover does not do pre-cuts. So there are no um, layer cakes, charms, or... Um, jelly rolls. They just don't do it. Uh, they don't do it. So, and even fat quarters. You're going to get fat quarters because we're going to cut. Mm -hmm. And by we, I mean Denise. All right. All right. I've got Clothworks. I've got two boxes. I got this little one. Clothworks is always and good. Bigger one. Clothworks could be. Susan. Could be. Oh, Susan. Well, we got floral, Sue. right? Not wow. Sue, though. Oh. Enjoy the little things. Oh, that's cute. I don't know who it is though. Cute. I like that crackle the background. Yeah. Can you see the background? Oh, a panel. Hmm. Enjoy the little things. Oh, it's Dan DePaulo. What? Dan DePaulo? Dan DePaulo and it's not a dog? He did floral. Well, I mean, he did a good job. He did. Some California poppies. I'm so ready. So ready for, for spring? Spring. Yeah. One more job. Yeah. <laughs> yes, there's that. But, but it is happy. not like Yeah, it's a good Your thing. big old bumblebees will come back. I love those big bumblebees. Yeah. Hmm. I don't That's why I have my thing. phone out there is to take pictures of them as they <laughs> We have big ones. Big ones with big ones. Oh. Super cute. Enjoy the little thing. Love, heart, best friends. And you know what's funny about this collection is that lavender flower print 
will be the first one to be gone. Yeah, it will be. That is like the mm -hmm. top thing. And maybe that's because so many people produce lavender, you know, hair products. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But. Mm -hmm. All right, that's all of it. All right, we're going to open all of these and then we'll come back and show you. And uh, and then we've got some other I think kind it's, of cool I think box. A box of books. It's super heavy. Super heavy box. And then we also have a very special announcement. Ooh. If you watched Fabric Chat, you already know what it is. I, I know what it is. It's a good one. You should stick around. It's a good one. Out. It's a very good one. All right. Dan DePaulo. Super cute. I mean, he did a nice job. Dan, Dan DePaulo is the one we usually get when we have really cute cats or dogs. Yeah. These kind of tanny navy blue. That's mm -hmm. Dan DePaulo. So floral. He did a floral. great job. And it's really nice. And it is sort of typical um, with this wood background thing that he does. And this is really cute because these are placemat panels. <gasps> oh, <coughs> and if you look at this, so and we'll show you all of them, but if you look at the size, you could have you know, a smaller placemat and then have a square for like a mug rug or something. But I really think that the whole idea is that this whole thing is the placemat. But you know the funny thing, just a little pause for just a moment before I show you the rest of these. Uh, we've been using the smaller placemats because I don't know, do you know that we're eating on salad plates? Oh, good. Portion control. Portion control. That really we started helps. doing that probably about six months ago where we have the salad plates to put our little bit of salad on and our, you know, casserole, mm -hmm. whatever we're having. And it's fun. Every once in a while, dad will say, no, I'm getting, a, I'm getting a big plea for this. <laughs> I'm going to like this. <laughs> usually, because then even when you go back for seconds yeah, and you feel like, oh gosh, that's eating a lot. It probably really is more one serving size. Yeah. So I think if I also have just a little smaller placemat, it would just, it's I mean, really I think I might pretty. for me, but I think otherwise really this is the placemat size, which is cute. So it's dream, dream, wish, believe, believe, wish, friends make the world beautiful. Hello, beautiful. We share an everlasting bond. Love those. Enjoy the little I things. The the sweet friendship refreshes. I know. It's adorable. It's really pretty. It's really pretty. And it doesn't have to be placemats. That's the other thing. It can be whatever you want to. But I do like that they're doing more and more um, placemat panels. Yeah. And it's pretty much um, Clothworks that does it. Clothworks. I they do, do it all the time. Yeah. They know we want to protect our wood tables. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So beautiful. And then all of the stuff that goes with it. Gorgeous. On the really cool, and we'll pan across and then we'll show you up close, but on the wood backgrounds, all overs, the flowers, little font. And then these are just some really nice solids. In fact, let's kind of start. Can we start down here? Yeah. So these are just the, and here, let me just show you the colors again. You know, here's the, that's the panel. And so you can see the colors that we're using here. Beautiful. Yeah. And so there's this really pretty peach and it's crackle. And then the green crackle, gold crackle, gorgeous purple. That is a really nice purple. And then, can you see that? That is kind of a cream on cream. Yeah. Okay. Two different wood prints. You'll see these again in a few minutes. But this is typical Dan DePaulo. Beautiful, kind of a birchy wood. So there's cream, and then there's this light brown. Really pretty. And I'm just going to warn you guys, these are 10-yard bolts, so not very big. So really nice little script, and I'll show you. It's on two different backgrounds, so there's a kind of that tan color and then white, but it's kind of an off-white, not super, super bright. So it's just really nice, just really sweet, and it's not directional at all, but um, it's all about friendship. Friends are like the family we choose, best friends, home sweet home, dream, uh, believe, wish. Uh, a sweet friendship re refreshes the soul. Hello, beautiful. Just, just darling. Really, really sweet. All of the flowers. Pretty the what cosmos? I guess is what that is. Lavender. I think you're right. The lavender will probably sell up first. Although echinacea, this would be my favorite. Love echinacea. And then kind of a little mixture. This is directional. You can see that, and you can see that it's directional and follows the salvage. And so it could be a really nice directional border if you want to do that. But it's got everything in there on this kind of a light wood background. You can and also get a yard of that one or even the other one and treat it as a panel. Absolutely. And it's pretty enough. It absolutely would yeah. hold its own. And then this is the exact same thing on that dark wood. 
And I wouldn't say dark. I guess it's more medium, mm-hmm. but it's the darker wood of the two. Beautiful. And that's it. Yeah. And I guess, um, so these also, we do not have pre-cuts of any sort, but I don't think we should pre- cut pre-cuts of this because there's not enough pieces of it and there's only 10 yards yeah, of I each. Agree. So, and depending upon what you're doing. Um, yeah. But I really, really like it. Very All right, and then it looks like that is a super heavy. Do you have to put that on the bottom, on the floor? Oh, uh, I have to go here. Um, I'm sure it's books because it came from Fox Publishing. Yeah, Fox Publishing. Yeah. But the book, the box was. The box. Kind of <laughs> well, it's funny they put all of these books in the same box. So, uh, so the deal with books, I'm just gonna say, is so Fox Publishing they do it different from everybody else. Um, uh, they actually, she calls, she emails, and then she sends me the new catalogs Mm -hmm. and she doesn't send me just the quilting catalogs. It's like, Hey, have you seen these new gardening books? Hey, have you seen these new What a good salesman. Really good salesman. And since I, my other love, uh, fabric and books, uh, (laughs) it's hard. And then also cooking and gardening. So I don't know. It's super bad. (laughs) So her problem um, is now yours. I know. (laughs) So I'm hoping you will like the books I saw. These are all brand new titles. And so um, so this one is, so here you look. Ooh, well, Magnificent Meals in a Bowl Cookbook. That looks fantastic. Really, really good. Okay, and you know I what's think- funny about this Mediterranean one is I saw like a quinoa bowl. Like I'm not a fan of quinoa. It's just not my thing. But um, I would do like white, maybe like a white bean or a, a rice and... Um, Couscous. Mm-hmm. For some reason, I know couscous and quinoa are a lot alike, but I would prefer couscous or orzo. And I would uh, uh, want to make this for dinner one of these nights. Yeah. When I'm mad at Robert. When you're mad at Robert. Because Robert, <laughs> chicken and vegetable, are you, that's it? Yeah. When yes. Robert, when, <laughs> when Robert's in trouble, we're going to do a couscous bowl. That's right. We have these big bowls that are kind of yeah. like that, and we've done that multiple times. And I would like to, and I like to do that, but I would rather know what are the other five things. Because that's what's nice about this book, if you look at this, yes. is that it's not just rice and chicken. No. You know, it's all of those, and there's no salad on there. It's the things that kind of all go together. So that was why I wanted it. So I just thought, I would like to eat this way. And it has and it all says- of the... It has all of the dressings, the Thousand Island dressing with the Caribbean turkey salad. Yeah. There's and it, a French dressing recipe in here. And it says it's healthy, fast, easy recipes with vegan and keto friendly choices. Creamy Russian dressing. Super cool. And then I have to show you, I feel like I saw this a second ago, chicken bruschetta salad, gingered beef salad. But there, um, Tracy and I were just talking about this, um, our local restaurant, Cloudview Kitchen. Oh my gosh. It's so, 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 so good. good. And they make this breakfast salad. Have I have not. Been, yeah. Tracy has talked about it. We you have finally done it. it. I have not. We uh, t- it is so good. It's a breakfast salad. So it's a salad, you know, so it's got g- fresh greens and stuff. And then there's a... Um, like an over easy egg on it. Really? Yeah. And then this kind of like sriracha ranch kind of a dressing. It is so good. So the first time Tracy told me, okay. I was like, oh, that so doesn't here, sound right. So here's the thing. I'm going to ask the question for you guys because I know what you're going to ask. Um, an easy a- over egg does not go with a salad. It doesn't. So those of you that know <laughs> that we do not like exactly our food. that's exactly what I thought. Like, we mm. do not like our food to touch. So food can't touch. So I can't have a sal a salad on my plate touch and an egg on my plate, Mm-mm. and it can't touch. And if it touches, I don't eat that. Uh-huh. And so it is kind of funny that layering it because at first I thought mm, no. I mean I had heard about it and I thought yeah I don't even want. But then I watched, I saw it. Somebody else had ordered it at our table. Maybe it was Margo or something. And I thought. <gasps> That looks kind of good. And when we were in Australia, I think we've talked about this before, and our Australian friends chime in here, they put an egg, an over easy egg, on their hamburger. Yeah. They don't have any such thing as it's mustard, like a red and they don't too. use ketchup. But they put that on there, and it was so good. And so anyway, I, I took a bite of, I guess it was Margo's, I don't remember who, who it was, it was really, really good. And so then the next time I went in, that was what I ordered. And in fact, it was so good that like for three nights in a row, Eat I made up. a salad <laughs> with an egg on it. No like, way! Let's put an egg on it. Because even dad said, mm, I said, oh, you're going to like it. It was really, really good. Anyway, huh. uh, it's in here. There is something in here with an egg on it that with I saw a salad it? with Oh, yeah. On. There's a picture of it on the back. Yeah. Oh, no. 
Yeah. So anyway, I only cool. have a 12 of these. Well, one is for me. So I only have 11. Yeah, but I want to get better bowls, at... salad bowls, Yeah, I just want to eat fresher. I just want to eat, you know. Yes. It <laughs> traces of... Yeah, yeah new book. Well, look at this. Meals in a bowl. And look at all the dressings mm -hmm. in there. Ooh, Tracy is eating good. more... Um, what are you eating, Tracy? More vegetarian. Dairy free, vegetarian. more vegan. More, yeah. More vegetarian than vegan. Yeah. Yeah. I think just cleaner amazing. eating. I well, think. that is a fantastic light. Oh, no, game on that. <gasps> one dish yeah. dinners. I'm doing this tonight for dinner. I know. So this is the other thing. So one dish dinner recipe. I do potatoes, broccoli, and a protein. Mm -hmm. I think we're gonna do fish tonight, and um, is what I'm gonna do. And it's just I mo mostly for me. One, it takes maybe 30 minutes. Everything seasoned. It's all done at one time, and I've got one pan to wash. Chicken enchilada skillet. Ooh, yum. And you know, I know that there's. Me you know, too. here's the other thing that I want to say is that I know that there are like. Facebook videos and TikTok videos and things of people. You don't know that that stuff is really good. And Pinterest. Sometimes yeah. they're doing weird things, but I feel like these have all been tested. This is, mm -hmm. you know, I trust this more than I trust a Facebook video. Cheesy skillet ravioli. Look how good that looks. Good. I love cookbooks. I know, I know. I have almost, I know I'm hungry. We're all hungry. We've all been talking about what's for dinner Chicken tonight. Caesar sliders. Mm -hmm. Oh, and salads to go. Um, I do this quite a bit. Is just take your mason jar and put oh, your yeah. salad in there. Or mom does like a mason jar. What is it? Pho or something? Uh -huh. Just a little noodle thing. It's super uh -huh. easy. Add hot water and shake it and let it go. Oh, love it. Really impressive. It's too Look at that one. That looks good. Oh, that looks good. I wouldn't tell them what provolone, but I'd use regular provolone. But mm -hmm. I mean, so if you want to try some vegetarian, Yum. vegetarian stuff, that's the other Sammy thing too cakes. is that when we cook for the retreats, mm -hmm. you know, we always um, we we honor whatever if somebody has an allergy or they're mm -hmm. dairy free or they're <laughs> keto cool. or they're vegan or whatever, and so it's always nice to have something that's not just well here's your chicken with no cheese on it. Yeah, you know, I mean to have something that really is special, and so. Um, uh, so we try to. Make Ooh, here's a cookbook. Made it to the cookbook. Oh yeah. <laughs> I, I, I did find it. Cook, 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 cook. So um, I think we told you that years and years and years ago, our very first video, because we used to have three videos that were parked on our website before we did any YouTube thing, and um, and then we put our mask videos on there, and then we had mm -hmm. to go to YouTube because our our site kept crashing, but. The one video, uh, the, our first one, and the one with the most views was our binding video because we thought the thing that people mm -hmm. would come in three to four times a week, can you show me how to do binding? Can you show me how to do binding? So mm -hmm. we just turned it into a little video, and I think wow, since then we've done it a couple book. times. This is a really good book. So this mm -hmm. book shows all of the different ways to do binding. So it has that little, you know, the um, how to add that little scalloped edge, how to do the little piped binding, how to do the curved edge. All of these fun little things. And look at so, how deep, the, so those of you that have done mm -hmm. by near and know what these pictures are, but look how detailed and great those pictures are. Yeah. And then again, pictures and words, depending on how it works best for you, but this is fantastic. And look at that, how to add the little prairie points. So yeah, it's a really good book. How to make your own it. chenille strips out of woven fabrics. Love it. We do it yeah. all the time. We, mom, does it all the time. Yeah. Sewing with denim. And not ah. an expensive $22 book. Fantastic book. Yeah. And if we sell out of these right away, we can, we get, can, more. We can get more. We get some baby books. These are brand new. Oh, yeah. Those were, I think I just got the Great Book of Monster Legends. Monsters. This is a Nana book. <laughs> That's a Nana book. <laughs> I'm always adding to my library. I think I got two. I'm thinking I had two. You do have two. There's another one down there. Kid it's the same. It's the same title. Oh, it's the same. Yeah. Is there another one underneath it? No. Yeah. Okay, that's it. Oh, right, well, that was fun. All. Two cookbooks and uh, a fantastic baby book and, um, book. and a fantastic right. binding book. Oh, yeah. that was good. Fun. All right, and then we had one Our other news. thing. We had the news. So those of you guys that watched us this morning on FabriChat uh, already know this. If you don't know what FabriChat is, in addition to box openings and classes and tutorials and other videos that we do, we do just a Wednesday morning coffee with friends kind of a thing. It's 8.30 every Wednesday morning and we just kind of chat a whole lot about nothing. 
we try to keep it between 30 and 45 minutes, but any kind of real important news, um, they are typically the first to know because mm -hmm. we sort of think of uh, coffee with friends. Mm -hmm. um, so anyway, we um, recently did a bunch of videos about our trip um, to Indonesia where we went to the Hoffman factory to see how they made batiks. And we announced at, on that video that we created a chop Mm -hmm. with a design and that we ordered some fabric and then also kind of in that video was my little conversation to the girls that I said don't worry you'll get first dibs when this comes in so it created this frenzy of how do I get some how do I get some how do I get some so um, we feel like we've ordered enough and we're not too worried about it because um, we have 15 bolts coming of each of the five colorways mm -hmm. but we were not able to put it online at the time and you can see it's a little sagebrush we were not able to put it online because I we were not entirely sure how much we had ordered and mm -hmm. what the exact color swatches were. Now we know. We verified it with Hoffman. So the good news is this is now online. You can pre-purchase it. And it's in the five different colors. You can pre-purchase. Um, and then as soon as it comes in, we'll fill your orders first. The bad news is it's still about four weeks out. Yep. It will be here somewhere around the end of March, first part of April. So, mm -hmm. um, because it was sent from Bali quite some time ago, he mm -hmm. thinks it takes two to six weeks on the water and then it has to clear customs and then it has to, it goes into Mesa Verde um, and then they roll it, package it and, and then get it. it up here. So. Mm -hmm were a ways out but at least for now those of you guys that have been emailing and calling and texting and we've set up the pre you're all options. set so you yes. can go ahead and place your order online. Um, and I have it linked um, in, in the description below or um, in the what's new section it's at the very top of the boutique section is where it's at um, so however you'd like to yeah. get your pieces yep that's ready and then we won't talk about um, our boutique design until we see it again. Until it comes. So this was so, your last and best option. <laughs> <laughs> until we are here to show you because they have arrived. So yeah. Yeah. keep that in mind. Yeah. Okay. All right. Maisie coming. Is she mm -hmm. going to make it to say goodbye? Bye. She's bye. She's bye. Yelling, bye. Come here. Come and say goodbye. <laughs> oh, she has bye. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Say bye, guys. Come, and say, come and say goodbye to like Tracy bye, and to. Bye, guys. Tracy, come and say goodbye. Oh, no, no, no. Oh. 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 Bye, guys. She's say bye. To say. <laughs> say bye. She looks like, she's like, can you mm -hmm. kisses? Okay. <laughs> Just kiss her. Kisses. kisses. <laughs> bye. Bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> Have a good day. <laughs> Thank you for watching our video. We invite you to leave a comment, hit the like button, or better yet, subscribe to our channel so you never miss an episode. You can also visit our Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or Pinterest pages, or find all of those things and our online store at fabricpatch.net.